Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode. We're back after a long winter and we start the season off in Australia. If you want to know what's been happening over the winter, then make sure to check out my last video. We explained everything there, what has been going on. We've done qualifying and now we're going to go straight into the race. The ripples still look to be quick as Max is on pole next to Charles Leclerc. Then it's Carlos Sainz and we managed to get the Mercedes P4 and then it's Perez and Magnussen. Piastri and Lando, Ocon and George, There's Gasly and Alonso, Sonoda and Joe, good qualifying for them. Then it's the two Williams headed by Albon, then it's Dan Tictum on his F1 debut next to Lance Stroll. Then on the back row of the grid is Latifi and Robert Schwartzman. So we come into then in the race, it's going to be an easy one stop for us. Starting on the mediums, going on to the hards. So here we go then for round one of season four and 2025. And this lights out and away we go. And we've once again got a shot and we've nearly gone into the side of the hards. We've been absolutely mugged at time one. As the two Ferraris attack, Max for snapping. Now we're going to be with the horses. Verstappen still leads though. From sight from the club. He's been jumped by his teammate the club. And we're going to send it down inside of both of the horses. And Sergio Perez. And we're back up to P4. And we've redone the damage. And done the damage of that one. And actually Magnussen's over to Perez as well. But we haven't quite got the pace of the Red Bull and the two Ferraris in this early stage. Down the inside, try to get Magnussen, we push him. Right on top of the curb there, a little bit naughty that. But we keep the Haas behind, and not for the first time we're battling the Haas here in Australia. All the way back in season one, we did with Big Schumacher in the Alpine, as here comes Magnussen again, up the inside as we hold it around the outside and that time he's been done by Perez around the outside the, the Haas they was rumoured to have the best car on the grid as Carlos Sainz's engine has popped from P2 that Ferrari engine has gone bang and in the, is this poor reliability possibly this season for Ferrari they had some poor reliability last season, but that's not the way they would have wanted to start the season. As here comes Perez on us now, he's nearly gone into the back of the stair, the overspeed. Down the inside though, into that new corner, and he's got us. And that might be it for us now with, with the Red Bull. Look how far up the road. Now Max and the Clarets, and we've gone a bit deep there. We've gone a bit deep, and Magnussen now is on our outside and now as we head down towards time when Magnussen is on our inside but he's too far back to do anything and he has to back out of that one if we go wide we're making so many mistakes in the early stages we nearly drop it there in the exit of turn 2 and now into it's the horse Piastri sent it on his teammate after Magnussen was trying to get past us the two horses side by side as Magnussen kept him behind no Piastri is up into P5 behind us and now going into the final two corners we've gone so so deep there we've locked up and Piastri is absolutely done us round the outside and now this is Magnussen on the back of this can he follow his teammate through we can be really to take Piastri gone look Piastri has gone Magnus has sent it on us, we're round, Magnussen has spun us round, we're going over the grass there, and we've dropped down, what was Magnussen doing there, up the inside of us, he spun us round, and now it's about damage limitation, possibly now as we go through, the tyres are cooking as well after that spin, over the grass, and now you can see, we're struggling to keep a car in a straight line, and we're round again, we're round again, they've been hit there by the Alpha Romeo, the Ralph Williams is involved there, the Williams has had his front wing ripped off. This is a replay then of us, we go into turn one and Magnus has tapped us round and look how far back we have dropped and then managed to get away. This is Magnuson's view and into turn one he sends it so late 
I mean, there was a gap there, but it was going to close in it. That's, that's a racing incident. He, he should have backed out Magnuson, but there was a gap there. Mondays, you can see it more clearly there. And it's a harsh free fall now, then, and this is us struggling to keep the car in a straight line and being hit at the back. It has actually brought out the safety car as well there. This is Joe's point of view, but he can't see anything there, all he can see is smoke, and then suddenly a big Mercedes is in front of him. This is Alpine's point of view, it's Alpine that got his front wing ripped off. He can't see anything as well, and the next minute he's in the side of the Alfa Romeo. This is Stroll's point of view, and he just fired out all the debris frame out in there. Now the safety car has been there pretty much the entire field is coming into the pits. And the two Red Bulls, Ferrari tried to beat out. Max was tapping there in the pits, into the pits comes the two horses who have held each other up, Piastri, behind Magnussen, I wonder if Magnussen has front wing damage. Now, here's everyone, and that's Alonso being held up then, by the two, Alfa Tauris. Now into the pits comes us, just behind the Williams of Albon. We managed to get away without any damage, we're going to go into the hards and Pretty much everyone else is doing the same, try and get them to the end. There's still a long way to go in this race. The new front wing is put on Albon's car. And now we've got to do a comeback drive. Like we attempted to do last time we were here in Australia in the Aston Martin after we wiped out the stroll. But that day we didn't have the car. But this Mercedes has definitely got the pace so let's just see what happens it's Gasly who's going to lead us away in his first race for McLaren just ahead of our teammate George Russell these two haven't boxed so these three as well Sonoda hasn't boxed either as we are going straight on the defensive as we have to defend our one into the first corner which we do now, can Joe have a look as we send it to the inside of Dan Tatum on his debut? Jumped in there. We have literally nothing to lose in this race. We might as well just absolutely send it. He's now through the quick chicane. We're right on the back of Magnuson. There's still some unfinished business there, though. He's gonna go for it on Swords while Ming Schumacher to the inside, and we overtake three cars there in one corner briefly make it three wide as we send it on Fernando Alonso and now to the inside of Lando dropped in there go a little bit wide but we keep on the track and now this is Perez also making his way back through the field after he boxed and we're just behind this battle in Perez and this is Piastri going on it on Swartzman and there is the Alpha Tauri has locked up and gone wide and we've got both of them we've got all three of them as well this is unbelievable unbelievable both of them gone and now there is Piastri side by side though is Paris and Latifi Latifi doesn't have the bravery to go around the outside there and Paris is through and now with the DRS we're going to send it on Piastri and on Nicholas Latifi and we're through and next up the road is Perez and of course we battled earlier on in the Grand Prix and he overtook us there's now into the pits comes Gasly and George Russell they're going to be miles down at the back but what a comeback drive we've done we are now battling for the podium where after about 10 laps ago we were right at the back of the field. That's been a sensational for us. As we go down the inside of Paris, we force him not wide and he has to back out of it. And we're being spun round by Magnussen. We're on the podium here in Australia. What a start to the season we, this would be. We can now get away from Paris. Now on to lap 16. This is Nicholas Latifi's engine after he was up there briefly in this Grand Prix he's now out of the Grand Prix and that's two years in a row 
two times in a row, I should say, that uh, Aston Martin's retired. Here in Australia with Perez, tries to go to our inside, we hold around the outside. Our pace kind of dropped off now, we didn't have the pace to get away from Perez. As this is Leclerc, Verstappen has led this entire race, pretty much in the net lead, but not anymore. As Leclerc overtakes Max Verstappen for the lead of the Grand Prix, with just a handful of laps to go. Now here comes Perez, on the back of Verstappen making a Red Bull 2-3. And now to the outside he goes, he forced a long way round, he has to back out of it. There's actually two laps to go now. And now on to the final on lap, to lap 28. Perez tried to go to our inside, we go a little bit wide though, so he could have another run here going down into turn three. Now he's getting closer, is he going to send it to the inside? No. It's been going three turn four now. And now on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. Perez already thinks about it but decides that he's got a better chance as we go very very wide going down into turn four we push him right up against the wall and force him all the way around the outside again and we keep Perez behind now he's got to keep him behind from the last couple of corners of this Alba Park track but it's going to be a win for Charles Leclerc P2 will go to Max Verstappen. We nearly drop in the final corner, but on debut for Mercedes, it's going to be a podium for us. We just hang on. Well, mate, I can't complain about that one. That was an excellent drive. that was to take the win for Ferrari today. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I feel consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you could do that, you could capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. When I started to the season, that was in Leclerc picking up where he left off last season. Mixed my feelings though for Ferrari. As Sites retired early on, Verstappen, after pretty much leading the entire race, a bit in a net position for some of it, couldn't quite hold on to it. The first race of the season, we get a nice P3. In the construct quarters, Red Bull are top, Ferrari second, we are third. What a race that was. Great comeback drive. Is that my greatest drive? Definitely so far. This Mercedes quick. Can we keep it up? We go to Spain next for round two and I'll see you in that one. Goodbye.